any uh, idea how much time was left when you were? Um, I think we might have went out of bounds, and I looked over and there was like 19 seconds left. So I knew that I just had to hustle and create something. I didn't want to really make it go in the other periods. What was it, snap down? Yeah, I kind, of, kind of like a fake shot and then snap down. And then I might have thrown another fake in there and then he was just on his hands and knees and I just out hustled him and went behind. Going uh, in the third period, you decided to go neutral. Coach, uh, coaches coach you up a little bit about these uh, Davenport assumption guys? Yeah, um, I've watched a little film on him. Coaches have studied him a little bit and he knew that he's a little crab rider and high half and tries to tilt a lot. So going into the third period, zero to zero, I felt confident going neutral that I could score a takedown on him. Feel like you have to had to ride him out then in the second given that or, or um, at least, you know, take score a takedown? I mean, in the second period when he chose bottom, the ultimate goal is just to turn him and score points. So I, that's my main focus is just to score points and that didn't happen. So I just wrote him out and I was, I mean, I was pleased with that, but I'd much rather score points and open the match up more. Did you, have you had an opportunity to look farther in the bracket? I mean, this is a huge first round matchup for you. Yeah, I mean, when they came out, I saw that I had a tough first round and I mean, I glanced throughout the bracket to see who made it, but I'm only focused on the next match and working the next move even, next second of the match. Given the, given the fact that you pick neutral, and you, you talk about how you know they're good in the crab ride and how sticky they are on top, you probably wanted to avoid the tiebreakers, aren't you? I mean, yeah. How much did you feel like you needed to get it done in overtime? Um, I mean, if it came down to it, if I was down and going into the third, I would have chosen bottom, but um, going into the third 0-0, zero zero, I felt confident in neutral. And if it would have went into the tiebreaker, I would have felt confident riding them out and also getting away. What was the message from your coach heading into today after the state dual championship yesterday? Didn't go your guys' way. Um, I mean, just about everything. Keep battling, and that's what defines it as a man is how much you keep battling and uh, overcome adversity.